And we are ready. Now you see the standing, uh, not the standings, but the starting list on screen right now. Also, Team Ukraine has a very hard list. Uh, uh, 18.1 total degree of difficulty. As I said before, how Germany and Great Britain have the hardest list. 18.2 total. The first two rounds, as always, in the synchronized diving, is the degree of difficulty is stuck at 2.0. Here is uh, Sandro and uh, Tornik. They're doing a back dive pike. Uh, well timed. But Tornike is uh, closer to the board than his teammate Sandro. On the right side, Sandro ends up being uh, further back. From the board, the time in getting the water is excellent. Perfectly at the same time. Straight sevens. You see how the two divers are at different distance from the board. Sevens for them. 42 total points on the first dive. Team Austria now. Also for them, a back dive pipe. Most of the divers in this first round are doing the back dive pike. There are nine teams out of 12 that are doing the back dive pike on this first round. And very good uh, timing once again also for the Austrians, just like uh, Team Georgia, the timing getting in the water is very similar and not as bad as the G Georgians but similar to them also in this case the diver on the right side on the on excuse, on the left board now you can see how they're not at different distance from the springboard so 44 40 for team Austria and they are in front of a uh, Team Georgia by just 2.40 point, 2 point points. Team Croatia now, a very young team. Both divers are just uh, 16 years old. Back dive, no, inward dive pike for them. Beautiful entries. Uh, the dives are both not extremely high. The movement seem uh, seem uh, pretty good. Timing is perfect. You see how they both grab their hands at the same time. It's a good job, especially here. You see how the distance from the board is exactly the same. So not bad at all. It is the best dive so far in the competition. 47, 40 for them. Beautiful dive. Back dive pike for Team Spain now on the springboard ready. Adrian on the right and Nicolas on the left. Here we have uh, coaches. Let's see. How they do on this dive? First of all, gotta get the right timing off the board. They do an excellent job on the back dive pike. Always together since the very beginning. Arms up together, same time in the pike position and out. And also the hands end up getting in the water exactly at the same time. So a very good job. And they're probably gonna get in first with this execution. 8, straight 8, 48 points, not bad at all. Now Team Greece, Grigorios and Athanasios. Team Greece was uh, in 6th place last year at Europeans. 
They start with a inward dive pike. And not perfect in the timing. Uh, they were uh, at pretty different already here with the arms at the beginning. And especially uh, Athanasius on the left side, on the left side of the screen, he was uh, too far away from the board on such an easy dive, a uh, different distance from the board by by the bo boat, by the two divers. 44-40 for Team Greece. And now, while well, we see we hear the scores for two, for Team Greece, now we have already Team Ukraine on the board. For one and a half somersault pike. A good job by Team Ukraine. Uh, the first hurdle we see in this competition. They're very high, good, strong jump by both divers. Also for them, a little different distance from the springboard, but I gotta say, an excellent individual performance by the two divers. So they're most likely getting in front of everyone, and they are, they're in first at 48 points, same score as Team Spain. The seventh team in this final is uh, Team France. Team France uh, with these two divers have been doing very good uh, this week. They got second and third in the three meter individual event, Jules and Alexi, and Alexi got also a medal on one meter. Not bad at all. And they make a, a little mistake on this dive. Uh, Alexi ends up going uh, uh, further back, more distant from the springboard and also a bit over. Uh, not, not a perfect dive, but pretty good. Uh, I was expecting... A better execution especially by Alexis but overall not too bad they're just uh, a bit more than two points behind the leaders at 45 60 team Switzerland now back dive pike for them as well and that's uh, the remaining teams they're all gonna perform a back dive pike from now on until the end of the first round <coughs> Jonathan and uh, Guillaume. Guillaume is closer to the camera right now. Jonathan is the one in charge of counting. And they do an excellent job. Uh, Jonathan entries was perfect. A little bit more splashes from uh, Guillaume. On the right side, Guillaume, and on the left, Jonathan. You can see how they move their arms together, get in the water pretty much at the same time but not bad at all this is a gonna score high and seven and a half and eight individually eight and eight and a half in synchro and this one is the higher scoring dive so far 48 60 team germany on the springboard right now Timo and Lars are doing also back dive pike. And also for Team Germany, an excellent dive on this first round of dives. If they don't get in first there for sure, around that total score on this dive very probably just Timo slightly ahead of time getting in the water it could have gone higher not too bad though that was the only thing I noticed other than that is perfect distance is perfect our movements are perfect eight and eight and a half 49 20 and they take the lead and you can hear the crowd cheering Team Poland 
Got up on the board. Let's see how they do their back that pike. And also for Team Poland, a good dive. Probably not as clean and sharp as the German, but extremely high jump for both divers and nice entries together. Look how... The, it looks like there's only one person getting in the water right now. They're exactly at the same time. Very well executed, especially the synchronization. 46 80 for them they're in six but they're all very close all very close to these teams it's just the first dive and it's a low degree of difficulty so let's see how the british divers do on their back dive pike Also for Team Great Britain, a pretty solid performance, a good execution of the individual dives. Uh, same height, good timing, arms are together. Uh, easy dives in the first two rounds of dives, so no major mistakes by all the teams. It's beautiful how they move so well synchronized. Probably just Ross, a little bit more distant from the board, but individual dives are perfect. Total of 49.20 for them and their same score as uh, team, Germ uh, team Germany, yes. In first. Last divers of this first round. The last team in the dive order is Team Italy. Silver medalist last year in Rome. They are doing a back dive pike also. See Giovanni counting. And also for Team Italy, an excellent job. Always together throughout all the movements in this dive. Also beautiful entries by both divers. So the scores go from uh, seven and a half individual and nines in synchro but the nines the one nine in synchro does yeah the three nines in synchro count all of them and they get ahead of everyone at 51 60. excellent excellent dive by the italians we have uh, almost two points advantage on team group reading you can see it here and uh, in third uh, is uh team germany at 49.20 it's just the first dive we still have a long way to go before before the last dive that will give out the medals Team Georgia now Sandro Melikitze and uh, Tornike Onikasvili reverse dive pike Not a good uh, execution by Sandro on the right side, completely over the end of the board. He actually even bends his knees before getting in the water. Um, already from the hurdle was uh, not a good timing. You see how Tornica gets in the water earlier. So yeah, not scoring very high on this dive of uh, Team Georgia. Six and a half and four and a half individual and five and a half and sixes in synchro and now we have uh, 
Alexander Hart and Nikolai Schaller on the board from Team Austria. Reverse dive pipe for them. And a lot of noise on the board by the, di the Austrian divers, but I gotta say that then in the air, they did an excellent job. You see it here, taking off perfectly together. Probably just a different way by the two divers are bringing the arms behind, but they're getting the water together. It's light, both divers slightly over. Uh, good job overall. Seven and a half from the judges. Uh, average of seven and a half, 44-40. Now Team Croatia, Luca and Matej, also for them a reverse dive pike. Wow, they managed to get back on track with the timing in the air, but the hurdle and press, you see it here, how it was completely different. And also when they ended up getting in the water, very clean for Matei and Luca closer to the camera. Just goes too far over. So individually, could have been better. Eighty-eight, eighty total points after two rounds for Team Croatia. And now Team Spain, who was in uh, in fifth place after the first dive, also for them, is a reverse dive pike. So many reverse dives in the second round and many back dives on the first round. In the first round, while Spain does a great job, we see the coach's reaction, also the teammates cheering for them. Not too bad, probably just a little different distance from the board. Nico seemed closer, but the timing is perfect. Uh, I was saying why so many back dives and reverse dives in uh, the first two rounds, because the first two rounds have uh, voluntary dives, so just uh, easier dives, and uh, most of the teams would rather not risk the reverse three and a half somersault or the back two and a half somersault pike, the back, because uh, as a low, back two and a half somersault has a lower degree of difficulty. And reverse three and a half is quite risky for many divers. The back and reverse rotations are harder to understand and it's also always tricky. Not very simple to get high scores on those. So that's why they decide to do the back and reverse dive in the voluntaries. So we saw Spain scoring uh, seven and a half and eights. For them, 46 20, they're at 94 20. And now we saw Team Greece with their reverse dive pipe. Not very strong off the board, uh, but they do a good job getting clean entries, both of them. They end up getting a seventh from the judges and a 42 total points on this dive. Puts them in fourth place at the moment. Ukraine now 48 points for them on the first dive now they are showing us a back dive pike not bad, a very good time that especially is very clean both divers in the entry and I was uh, checking every, every team's list and I Notice that there's just one team that is performing the backward, uh, the back backward group of dives in the optionals is Team Croatia with back to now summers of pipe. Well, we saw an excellent uh, back dive by Team Ukraine 49-20 on this dive eight and eight and a half. Not bad at all, and Team Ukraine is ahead of everyone at 97-20. Team France now that didn't struggle but had a tiny mistake in the first dive reverse dive pipe for them <clears throat> a 
and they do a much better job on this reverse dive pike than the previous round. Very high. Both divers just go incredibly high. It's a little bit noisy on the board. Didn't get a perfect timing with the springboard here. You see on the right side how Alexis uh, gets in the water ahead of uh, his teammate, but overall a better job than uh, the previous round. Uh, eights and eight and a halfs from the judges. 49.80 and they're at 95.40. Now Team Switzerland. Also for them, a reverse dive by. The timing getting in the water, the moment they got was uh, identical, but you can see when uh, they come out of the pike position, you see here they're getting a pike, and then Jonathan started moving his hands a little bit too early. He started early, but then uh, Guillaume picked up some speed with his arm movement and got back on track. A slightly different uh, position in the water Jonathan seemed a little bit more arch but overall very good seven and a half and eight and they big they give us big smiles there 95 40 seems like teams we turn on is having a very nice time competing today um, inward dive pike for team Germany now the ninth team in the second round Inward dive pipe, very well executed. Strong jump, and uh, the, ju the coaches seem happy with that. High scoring uh, voluntary dive. Beautiful entries by both divers. You see how they're exactly the same time in the water. And this dive is going to score uh, more than 50 points. Actually, to be right, is 55, 51 even. Eight and nine for them. Not bad at all. Team Germany gets ahead of everyone at 100 for 20. Team Poland now. Reverse dive pike. Good uh, individual dives, uh, not exactly at the same time coming down from the hurdle. We, we saw how the divers were moving at different speed there, and Andre ends up being in the water a little bit ahead of time compared to his teammate. Not bad at all, though. A good uh, execution overall for uh, Team Poland. 46 20 they're at 93 points in sixth place at the moment see now team great britain for one and a half somersault pike and they double up on the forward rotations for forward somersaulting dives in the last round they'll perform the forward four and a half somersault tuck and not perfect I gotta say not perfect the timing on the board was good uh, on the left side James seems to be ahead of time you see he's lower and much much faster into into and out of the uh, somersault we saw him horizontal already completely straight so not a wonderful execution by him but 18 synchro 47 40 a total of 97 20 put uh great britain in second place same score as team ukraine last voluntary dive and before we start the optional rounds we have the reverse dive pike by team italy Uh, 
also for Team Italy, not a perfect synchronization. Uh, yeah, disappointment on the face of the coaches. Uh, Giovanni Tocci was way too far back on the board coming down from the hurdle. And you see how he's much ahead of time getting the water compared to his teammate. So, still getting a, a good uh, score overall because eight is not bad. Seven and a half and eight individually and eight in synchro. But they lost the advantage that they had after the first round, first round of, of dives. And they're in second place right now. You can see these standings after the voluntary dives, the first two rounds of dives, Germany, Italy, and Great Britain. Closes the rankings in last place, Team Georgia, that had too big of a mistake. And it's Team Georgia that we're gonna see starting the third round of dives in just a few seconds. With the inward two and a half somersault pike, 3.0 degree of difficulty. I wanna remind you that from now on, the degree of difficulty is the exact uh, degree of difficulty that the dive has and not set at 2.0. So, Georgia now. A lot of movements there, bouncing on the board before taking off. And another dive that gets off rhythm for them. They were uh, rocking up and down the board a lot took off together but at different speeds so Tornica on the left side gets vertical uh, a little bit more vertical than uh, Sandro Tornica actually does a good dive uh, solid dive individual six and a half seven for him it's just the somersaulting speed is totally different so synchronization scores are gonna be low and exactly is exactly that six and a half five individuals six and a half in synchro Team Austria is now showing us the same exact dive. They're hoping to do better than what Georgia did. And you can easily see how much better they do compared to Georgia they in the summer so you see it here when they're spinning their legs are at the same so exact moment of the summer so it's the same exact spot of the summer so when in both in both somersaults and on the come out they have the right timing in the water just Alex was a tiny bit further back than Nikolai in the water more distant than his teammate All sending word to an half somersault pike for Team Croatia now. Matej and Luca are ready on the board. First experience at European Championship for both divers. They are again very, very young, just 16 years old. They are this is like a warm-up for the Junior European Championship that will take place in Croatia uh, in August. And they'll for sure be there competing. Inward two and a half somersault pike, well executed. Good somersault by both divers. Only problem with this dive is that Luca here closer to the camera comes out of the somersault too late and ends up going uh, too far over. 60 points for them and they are uh, just uh, less than a point behind team Austria in second place right now <clears throat> now Spain on the springboard for them the forward three and a half somersault pike Very good, uh, and we see some excitement by the Spanish team. Uh, very good, uh, top part of the dive. Both divers go 
very high. Probably slightly different somersault speed, but the height of the dive is the same. Yeah, we saw how Nico was ahead of time in the somersault, but both divers get a very clean entry. 72-54, and Spain gets up in first place right now. Team Greece now. 2.8 degree of difficulty for their forward three and a half somersault tuck. So the same dive as Team Spain, but in a tuck position. Both divers end up going uh, too far over, over rotate that somersault. Um, it wasn't too bad in the somersault here. They are at the same height and same speed. But both divers just go too far over. So individually, the dives don't score very high, and uh, that's why also the synchronization can't be too good. Uh, four and a half individually, six and a half in synchro. Forty-seven point oh four for them. They're in fourth place right now. Team Ukraine inward three and a half somersault tuck, the hardest dive so far. In the first round of optionals, the third round of the competition, 3.4. It's uh, interesting how well, we see Team Ukraine doing a good job with this uh, inward three and a half summer shot talk. I was saying how it's interesting these competitions that do not, do not have a preliminary round. Uh, the dive order is uh, given by a computer, uh, so it's totally random. But it's interesting how the divers, the, the teams with the hardest list, are towards the end of the dive order. So starting from, uh, starting with uh, uh, Ukraine, from now on we have harder dives throughout the whole competition. At every round we'll see easier dives in the by performed by the first five teams and then from the, uh, from team number six on uh, the degree of difficulty gets much much higher so we saw team ukraine scoring a total of 71.40 points and getting ahead of everyone right now inward three and a half summers attack also for team france it doesn't seem uh, perfectly together alexi doesn't get a very strong push off the board here, the somersault is at the same speed, but Alexi is uh, shorter and lower and shorter than uh, Jules. So they do get a good dive, but not as good as Team Ukraine. Sixes in synchro, seven and a half, uh, excuse me, the opposite. Six in individual and seven and a half in synchro. Team France is at 164 points behind Team Spain. Now inward two and a half somersault pike for um, team Switzerland. So the same uh, direction, so inward dive, inward somersaulting dive, but the two and a half in a pike position. Good uh, individual dive, especially by Jonathan. Here uh, would seem on the slow motion how Jonathan is on the left side and he gets a perfect entry. Gayam instead uh, ends up being a little bit short and further away from the board. You see it here. They're not in line. That's why the judges deduct a few points for them. So, total of uh, 160.20 for Team Switzerland now. Team Germany, 3.4 degree of difficulty for their forward. Two and a half somersault, double twist. Nice uh, individual entries and nice dive 
Lars is uh, leaning too far forward, coming down from the hurdle. Is more distant from the board. You see how they got out of the pike position and into the twist exactly at the same time. It is not bad at all. It's most likely the highest scoring dive of this uh, third round of dives. But they could have done better here. For sure. The, the different distance from the board caused the synchro judges to give lower scores. Seven and six individually, seven and a half in synchro. 172, 62, and they're ahead of everyone. And now, Team Poland. Forward three and a half summers of Pike for them. Oh, nice recovery by Andrei Szczesutek. He was leaning way too far forward. A big mistake on that hurdle. He had to use all the strength in his legs to stay on the board and then hold on to the to the legs on the pike position. We saw him coming out of that somersault much later than his teammate. Not excellent, but I gotta say, and that's probably what he was telling to Casper here in this slow motion. They're still talking about what went right or wrong in this dive. Six and a half individually. Seven and a half in synchro, 65 10 for Team Poland. And they are just 14 points behind Team Germany in the lead. Team Great Britain now, reverse one and a half somersault, three and a half twist. Good individual dive by both divers, but I got to say not too well in synchro, especially because of the distance from the board. And don't get me wrong, it's an excellent dive. Uh, I was uh, expecting better synchronization, uh, better synchro by the divers. See here how Ross is uh, further away from the board. It's a high degree of difficulty. Tony Holly, their coach, seems happy with that. And they laugh about it. 75 60 for Team Great Britain. They're in first. Very close with Team Germany. 0 0.18 points. So 18 cents of a point ahead of Team Germany. Team Italy now. Forward three and a half summers of pike for them. 3.1 degree of difficulty. And this time around, it was Lorenzo Marsaglia on the right springboard who stepped back. You see him here, not at the end of the board, but they still get a good speed. Lorenzo is way ahead of time getting in the water. Unfortunately, lower than his teammate because of the struggle on the hurdle. They still get very good uh, synchro scores, even though they're not at the same height, but individually they do two amazing dives and eights from the judges 72 54 puts them in third place just one point behind team great britain who is in the lead we still have a very close competition anything can still happen we're just halfway through the competition and uh, as always as always with high degree of difficulty dives very difficult dives we'll see throughout the competition Anything is still open. And we are ready for the fourth round of dives, second optional. Sandra and Tornike, forward three and a half summons of pack for them. Much better job on this dive, I gotta say. They're uh, perfectly at the same speed in the somersault. It's easier on the slow motion to see. Uh, good timing off the board. And you see how the legs are at the same spot of the somersault while they're spinning. Just Sandro further away from the camera here. 
here is just uh, more distant from the board. That's the only difference in this synchro. So uh, the best dive for them so far, 61-38 for the Georgian divers. We'll get up at 191.58. Team Austria now. Also for them, a, for, a forward three and a half somersault pike. Nice dive. Too bad at the very last second. You'll see it in the slow motion. At the very last second, Nikolai on the left side ends up going uh, a little bit in an arch position and over. At the very end, you see it here easily here. His heels and legs go slightly over, but it was very well executed both individually and in synchro. Not bad at all. 67.89. Team Croatia now, also for them, for three and a half summers of Pike. It's the same dive uh, four times in a row because also Team Italy in the previous round did that. Totally different hurdle here. And very, a very bad dive for the young Croatian uh, divers. Struggle a lot, especially Luca on the left. Got the hurdle completely wrong and completely different. Yeah, that's uh, when when the mistake is at the beginning, it's of the dive. Like for example, in this case, on the hurdle, it gets very complicated to recover. So. Yeah, they do not seem very happy with that, obviously. Too bad. Now, Team uh, Spain. Forward two and a half somersault, double twist. See the coaches and the teammates there. All, everyone is very focused. 3.4 degree of difficulty for Team Spain who was in fifth place after three rounds. Excellent job. Excellent job by the Spanish divers. Uh, probably the entries could have been cleaner. I gotta say, in the air here we see takeoff is together, twister is together, and they get at the water and they're just not very clean. That's the only problem. But not bad is also a high degree of difficulty dive, 3.4. So they end up getting a seven and a half in synchro. And as I said, the individual dive could have been better by both divers, especially in the entry. They get 72.42 and they're in first place right now. Team Greece now, back to an half somersault pike. I got that wrong then uh, before I checked the... I told you that only Team uh, Croatia was doing this dive, but also Team uh, Greece, I guess I didn't see that while checking the diving list by this team. My bad. And uh, they're well synchronized, but, but both divers end up going too far over. They both have too much upper body movement while circling their arms and pushing. That's why they end up being uh, far and over in the water. That was the technically the problem with this dive by Grigorius and Athanasius. 51.30 and now Team Greece is at 184.74 in fifth place at the moment. Now, Team Ukraine, the hardest dive of the of their list and also of the competition, but other teams will perform it. 3.8 degree of difficulty for a forward four and a half somersault tuck. Very good, very good. This is gonna score high. They get very good entries, even though they weren't perfect off the board. 
We see Oleg on the right side is ahead of time in the somersault, but solid entries by both divers. They end up getting straight together at the water. They get back on track after <laughs> some relief there by a young Ukrainian supporter. Uh, yeah, so seven and a half and eight in synchro, six and a half individually. Total score of 82.08, the best dive so far today. Not bad at all. Now a forward three and a half somersault pike for Team France. And uh, once again, they're not perfect on the board. After in the air, they get back on track, but they kept a different momentum in the air. We see they end up getting almost completely back together in the summer. But Alexi was always ahead. You see him coming out and getting straight before Jules. Also slightly short. Not too bad. Eights in synchro. And individually, though, because of the struggle on the hurdles, six and a half and seven for them, 69, 75. This could have been a little bit better because it's an optional dive, so a hard dive, but not as hard as other dives that we'll see today. Also, not as it was their easiest optional. Um, let's move on. Same dive for Team Switzerland, forward three and a half somersault pike for Guyam and Jonathan. And uh, the hurdle part of the dive, the beginning on the board, was much better than the French divers before them. But they, I don't know, it, they seem just like a little bit off in the entries. It's not bad at all, but we saw here how Goyam is uh, more distant from the board. It is overall better than the French diver. Also, this dive ends up being not perfect in synchro. But I gotta say, a good job overall, seven and a half and seven for them, eight in synchro. So the judges thought that in synchro, this dive was just like uh, the ones of the French divers. But individually, the Swiss divers did better, so more scores for them. And now is Team Germany, reverse one and a half somersault, three and a half twist. And a mistake by Lars in the entry in the water. It splashes a lot. Here, off the springboard there, together. Timo is lower, definitely lower than Lars, but the big, biggest mistake is the entry in the water by Lars. Uh, way short and splashy. The, the scores are not very high, but considered the high degree of difficulty, they're still, uh, uh, well, they're not ahead of everyone at the moment but they're not too far from the lead uh, they're eight points behind team ukraine in second place now team poland and we're three and a half somersault tuck for them and definitely team germany lost a, a few points there they're for sure aiming to get a medal here but they could have done much better on this reverse reverse twister Oh, nice dive by Team Poland. Nice dive. Probably not the highest jump up in the air by both divers. But I gotta say, other than Casper uh, on the left side being ahead of time in the somersault, other than that, they get good, uh, good individual dives. Probably Andre was a little bit late on the kick, but they seem very happy and excited after these and very focused. They seem to we're talking about keep on going like that. We're doing good, and they actually are doing good. 67, 32. They're not far from uh, from the top. Just, I mean, they're uh, 25 points behind Team Ukraine from goal. Uh, 17 points from Team Germany. But I tell you, they have very hard dives later, and uh, you never know. Anything could happen. We've seen it throughout the week here. Inward three half somersault tuck for Team Great Britain also. And a uh, better job than Team Poland. 
the only problem with this dive was uh, the entry in the water by Ross Aslam on the right side. They're perfectly together also. Oh, that's why. If you see on the further away from the camera, Ross was grabbing at his hand and it doesn't... Oh, it's covered here by his teammate. But he was grabbing at his hands and uh, completely slipped his hands in the entry. That's why it was very heavy and splashy, but excellent dive and Team Ukraine... Uh, excuse me, Team Great Britain scores... 74, 45, 46, and they get right behind Team Ukraine, just three points behind. Team Italy now, forward two and a half somersault, double twist. And another mis tiny mistake by Team Italy. They seem uh, off, off rhythm today. Again, uh, Lorenzo is just steps too far back from the hurdle and is much lower than his teammate. Other than that, the clean, the clean entries help uh, for the individual score, but and also the high degree of difficulty helps. They get up in third place. Yeah, and uh, see Lorenzo is talking with the coach, showing her how he was uh, just leaning backwards and just stepping backwards but we have the total standings after the standings after four round of dives Ukraine is in first Great Britain in second and Italy in third but they're all very close 11 points between the first ranked team and the fifth and just 16 with the sixth so not that big of a gap between those six teams and anything is still open anything could still happen and here we are ready for team Georgia Sandra and Tornike they were in 11th place their their fifth dive is a forward two and a half somersault full twist and they take off and get in the water exactly at the same time the difference here between uh, the two divers is the way they come out Sandro on the, re on the right side so uh, now further away from the camera we see him getting in the water with his teammate but in the air they were at opposite times coming out of the pike and into the twist overall a very good dive for them um six and a half and a total of 57 60 team Austria now also for them a forward two and a half somersault full twist they were in ninth place at 217 points And in this case, the problem with the synchro is uh, the different distance from the board. We saw on the left side, Nikolai uh, getting too far away in the water. We see it here, they're completely different in a different spot getting the water. So that is the thing that bothered the most the judges uh, of this dive. Other than that, they did a good job with their individual dive. 60.30 points for Team Austria. Team Croatia now. After the big mistake on the last dive, they were in 10th uh, place. Still not last. Forward two and a half somersault. Double twist. And first of all, now they got to focus on the hurdle. Make sure they get it right. And they do a much better job with this dive overall, but they will need to, for sure, work more on the timing. They are always uh, getting back from the hurdle in at uh, different times, back on the board. And that's the beginning of the issues with this dive, because then uh, that causes the divers to react to that 
and uh, hurry up into the pike position, move their bodies uh, in a wrong way. So six and a half overall for individually and uh, in synchro for Team Croatia, 65 points for them. Team Spain now inward to now Somerset Pike. A lower degree of difficulty, difficulty compared to the other teams fighting for a medal with them. The other teams have much higher degree of difficulty, so they will need perfection here. Good individual dives and absolute perfection in synchronization. And they do a great job. Uh, they do a great job with their individual dive. Also, the synchro is good. Uh, the problem is that Nico on the left is further back in the water, more distant from the board. And that's the... Uh, not that bad, though. Not that bad. Uh, live, it seemed uh, more... Uh, more distant from the board, Nico. But, yeah, seven and a half and eight, the... The top on the shoulders from the coach. The team happy with that. 69.30 on this dive. Team Greece. A forward two and a half somersault. Full twist. Oh, and uh, one of the two divers got completely lost. Uh, here, Grigorios on screen right now. You see him on the right side. He started twi his twist and then grabbed his legs. He got probably confused on what he was supposed to do. And he gets in the water with his feet first, so not completing the dive that he was supposed to do. He's smiling about it. That it happens sometimes. So I guess the referee is deciding if it was a failed dive or if he did not got in the water with feet first. Let's see what he thinks. Yes, indeed. It is a failed dive. So zeros for them on this dive. And they stay at 184 points. And the leaders after four round of dives, Team Ukraine, reverse three and a half somersault, talk for them. Oh, wow, another excellent dive by Team Ukraine. And we see Anna Pismenska, their teammate, uh, very excited. Good top part. They been almost at the same speed uh, but both divers get excellent excellent entries look perfect line very good job by team ukraine and uh, they get again above 80 points a total of 334.68 84 points on this dive team france now France is doing a forward two and a half somersault, double twist, pike. And excellent job. Two great entries in the water for both French divers. Better job on the board there together, up with their hands, come out of the pike position together. Alexis is slightly ahead of time getting in the water, but. Very nice entry by both divers. Very good, very good. And they're happy with that once again. Seven and a half individually for the two divers. Eight in synchro, 79.56. Forward, two and a half somersault, double twist also for team... Switzerland. Oh, 
Oh, good job by Team Switzerland as well. Compared to the French divers, that the did not get uh, great entries. But it's a good dive overall. The degree of difficulty is quite high, so uh, not bad at all. They were training behind a little bit. But they do an excellent job with this dive. Seventh individually and eighth in synchro. They're in third place at the moment. Team Germany now. For Team Germany, a reverse three and a half somersault tuck. It's the same dive we saw um, performed by Team Ukraine. And not well executed. Not very well executed. Uh, Timo on the left side struggled with the hurdle and did not have enough room to line up correctly vertical. Ends up being quite short on this dive. While uh, Lars is closer to the board and actually slightly over rotates that three and a half somersault. So Team Germany is, ends up getting behind Team Switzerland now at 309 points. Team Poland now forward two and a half somersault double twist pike for them. They could take advantage of this mistake uh, of Team Germany. It is a good dive, especially individually by both divers, but definitely not the same timing in the air while twisting and somersaulting. You see it here, Casper is ahead of his teammate quite a bit. Then they do manage to get a good uh, individual dive, vertical, both divers, but not good enough for a medal as of right now, below average, but they still have they still have the four, four and a half somersault tuck and uh, that could help. Well, we see Team Ukraine uh, just relaxing in between dives. Now is time to watch Team Great Britain reverse three and a half somersault tuck for them. Team Great Britain was in second place. At 2.47. And they need uh, 87 points to get on the top of the rankings. And they won't get it. The dives individually are good, but Ross Aslam is uh, quite far away from the board. We see them spinning exactly at the same time. It's uh, interesting how one diver on the left goes to the left and the one on the right goes on the right. But we see here how more distant than uh, his teammate is Ross. Not bad overall. The, the coaches seem very excited. They're in second place right now at two, at 323 points. Just 11 points behind Team Ukraine. And they have an advantage in the degree of difficulty on the last dive. But also a high risk for four and a half somersault tuck. And uh, inward three and a half somersault tuck for Team Italy who was in third place. 3.4 degree of difficulty for them. Let's see how they do. Oh, good dive. Too bad the entries are not very clean, but I gotta say they're together throughout the whole dive. Here, the squat, the push, perfect tuck position for both divers and a good vertical entry. Probably just Giovanni Tocci further away from the camera here. It goes slightly over, but a very good dive by Team Italy, who keeps the third place after five rounds of dives. And we have Danilo Konovalov now on screen he is leading with his teammate Oleg 
We see it here now. Ukraine in first three, 34, 68. 11 points advantage on Team Great Britain. And uh, 15 points advantage on Team Italy. But very close behind Team Italy, there's Team France. So once again, the medals won't be decided until the very last dive. And that has happened almost at every single final here in Sheshov. That is very, very exciting. Let's start the last round of dives at the third European Games of Krakow Malopolska 2023 here in the diving arena of Sheshov. A forward two and a half somersault double twist for Team Georgia with Sandro Melikidze and Tornike Vonikasvili. And uh, same as the previous dive where they did the same exact dive but with just one twist instead of two. They come out of, you see it now in the slow motion. When they came out, uh, come out of the first uh, summer salt to start twisting, so out of the pipe position, they're just, see, they make a cross here. They're not together. One comes out early, one comes out later, and uh, just two different to get good synchro scores. Sixes for them, 60.18 total points for Team Georgia, and they close at 309.36. Team Austria now, same dive for them. They were in ninth place. They recovered very well from uh, that bad hurdle. Alexander Hart was uh, quite far back on that one. And he recovers very well. It's very difficult when you step that far back to still get enough momentum to get all the way vertical. He does a good job. Six is individually, sevens in synchro. They close at 345.51 and they seem happy with that. Team Croatia now, the young guys were in 10th place and they finished with a back to nap somersault pike. A good, uh, a good dive. Uh, probably just uh, a little bit slow off the board, leaning too far back. Both divers, they do not pick up too much speed, uh, but enough to get vertical. Matei is a little bit over, but not bad at all. And uh, they get a total of 57.60 at their first experience in a final at European Championship in this event. And now Team Spain fell back in seventh place. They were fifth after four rounds of dives. They're seventh now because of the low degree of difficulty. And they closed their competition with a reverse one and a half somersault, three and a half twist. Beautiful dive. Just a bit heavy in the entry uh, in the water here on the right side. Adrian, they twist in different direction. One twists to the right, one to the left. Um, that is not a problem. But you see here, Adrian just lightly over in his individual dive. But overall, a very well executed triple, three and a half twist for Team Spain and they get up at 384.06 and as of right now they're in first. They do very good. Team Greece now in work to have Somerset Pike. Team Greece uh, failed completely the previous round. 
the, pre the previous dive and uh, they're obviously in last and uh, they have no chance uh, mathematically of uh, getting out of that spot still have to finish and still want to finish well in this competition they do a good job overall probably just different time off the board you see it here Grigorius on the right side is ahead of time a little bit compared to his teammate but overall good two good individual dives six and a half and seventh from the judges 59 40 and they close at 244 14. and now on the board Team Ukraine, Ole Kolodi and Danilo Konovalov. Back two and a half somersault, one and a half twist, Pike. They don't have to deal with the hurdle, which is one thing that the remaining teams all have to do. And it will be very interesting because now we have a back twister from the Ukrainians, a reverse twister by the French right after, and a bunch of... Uh, Four or four and a half somersaults for the remaining the remaining team. They do very good. Uh, probably not excellent, but I gotta say they're together throughout the whole dive. Also, they twist at different directions. Look at that. The somersault is perfectly together and uh, good verticality. Getting the water. You see here, nearly just one person. Just short. Both divers a tiny bit short, but 370. Excuse me, 75, 48 with seven and a half and eight by the judges is 410.16 is the total score of team Ukraine team France now they need nines and nine and a half to get ahead of uh, team Ukraine on this reverse three and a half twister not gonna get ninth they were in fourth place before this dive just five points behind Italy they're not gonna get ninth so they'll stay behind uh, team Ukraine there Alexi is way ahead of time off the board and he gets in the water much earlier not a bad job overall their uh, their best dive today with 80 points 0.85 and they're in second place at the moment, 394 for them, 394, 92 France. Now Team Switzerland, and Team Switzerland also needs nines to get ahead of uh, Team uh, Ukraine with this four or four and a half somersault tuck. very good job all the way until the entry that that a lot of speed in this somersault the top part was excellent look how high perfect time this somersault both divers unfortunately end up going too far over too bad because these dive with great vertical entries would have scored above 85 90 points for sure excellent job on these takeoffs, unfortunately, they roll over. And as I told you, from now on, we'll only see this dive for the remaining of the competition. So, four more times. And first is Team Germany. Team Germany needs 101 points, which is mathematically possible on this dive. This must be almost perfect. And unfortunately, it is not. Uh, yeah, Christoph Baum and uh, Philip Becker not very happy with the performance of their divers. They do a great job of the springboard. They're both very high, different speed in the somersault. And just like the Swiss divers, they end up rolling a little bit too far over. 
So six and a half in synchro, four and a half, five individually. And Team Germany is already behind the podium in fifth place with 372. Here is Team Poland. Team Poland cannot mathematically reach the first place. I can tell you that already. They need ninth for second place and eighth for third. And very similar to the previous two teams. Very good off the board. They both carry on a lot of speed in the somersault. Look how good they are in the tuck position. But on the come out, they're just not very clean. So once again, uh, also for them is a low scores individual. And because of that, also the synchro does not score much. And they uh, end up already right now out of the podium. Sixth place for them. Big hug. We have uh, Team Ukraine on screen now waiting to see where they end up after this dive by Team Great Britain and after that Team Italy because they both can still mathematically catch up. Oh no, huge mistake. And it's funny, not funny, it's crazy because this doesn't happen often in a competition in synchro. But since James was uh, struggling uh, with the hurdle, getting down on the board, also Ross noticed that and balked. So instead of uh, failing because one was going to dive and the other wasn't, Ross was, uh, yeah, that's very good, very fast thinking by Ross, realizing his teammate wasn't uh, going to go. And he balked, so they can retake it, but there will be a penalty of two points by each judge. Oh, what an amazing job on this dive. And uh, crazy. This might have given them the gold. Actually, I'm sure that it would have given them the gold. But since they retook the dive, the deduction of two points on this dive is not going to give give them gold. Too bad. What an amazing performance by both divers. I got to say congratulations to Ross. I mean, tip of the hat to Ross for noticing his teammate was struggling. This would have scored nines and eights in synchro and for sure would have given them the lead so far. Ah, oh, too bad. And they are in third place at the moment at 393 and risking uh, they risking not to get the medal depending on this dive by Italy also for them a forward three uh, four, four and a half somersault tuck team Italy could still with 91 points get ahead of everyone else let's see what they do last dive of the European Championship here in Sheshev And they are going to get, I think, a medal. I don't want to talk too early, but they, I don't think this is eights. They needed eights to win. They needed six and a half for a medal. Uh, it is not bad. Individually, they do a good job. Probably Joanne is just too far away. But individually, they both do a good job. And Team Italy, with a total score of 402.666, get a silver medal here at the Europeans and we have Danilo Konobalov winner of this event with uh, the whole team Ukraine cheering and celebrating another exciting competition here is the final standings of the final competition of the European Championship Kolodi and Konovalov from Ukraine, 410.16, they win European, the European Championship, the gold medal. Italy in second with Giovanni Tocci and Lorenzo Marsaglia, 402.66 points. 
France in third with Jules Bouillier and Alexis Jandard. Another medal for them. 394-92. The bronze medal goes to Team France. Jules Bouillier and Alexis Jandard with 394.92 points. Second place and silver medal goes to Team Italy with Giovanni Tocci and Lorenzo Mar Martaglia for a total of 400 with a total of 402.66 points. Now the gold medal with, with a total of 410.16 points goes to Team Ukraine with Oleg Kolodi and Danilo Konovalov. First competition for them together at the European Championship, first time diving together and a gold medal right away for them.